Another Life is a TV series on Netflix just now. It came out in uh, 2019, and it is uh, an adventure, drama, mystery, but most of all, sci-fi. So the summary is, this alien ship floats on Earth, and it's just a weird-looking warped sort of ship. Never seen anything quite like it. And then it just seems to form into this crystal, rocky, glassy tower with lights. And then it becomes a, a case uh, people on Earth are trying to find out, is this friend or is it foe? So they're trying to communicate that way. So it takes a good couple of episodes where they find out what kind of, how to speak to it, how this thing ticks. But then on the other flip side, they send a ship into space because they find out where it came from, which is well, many light years away. So they get a crew together, and that is where uh, Katie Sarkov comes in. She ends up being the captain of the ship. Salvari, if I remember right, top of my head. And her partner, her man, is the head of the Earth Kenny team to do a speaking with the alien life form. So they get split up. So that's an emotional th- break up there. They're not going to see each other for as long. They do have like a wee holographic technology. So they're able to like, boop, I'll speak to you like that, uh, which is good. And we've got a wee girl in it as well. But as the summary says, uh, uh, she is in command like a younger crew. Now, she's only like 39, you know, so it's not like everybody else is blooming 18, 20, you know. Uh, big, diverse kind of crew they've got as well. And like any show, especially if they're going into space or crew, they, they come along into a lot of problems, which damages the ship, uh, affects how the crew are going to be, they end up being to go into other, other planets, takes them off their course, so they start bumping into a lot of different things along the way, obviously, uh, organisms or different kind of environments, things that might look like Earth, but they're not quite, uh, things that can't see are affecting them. Um, I really enjoyed this show, I did. Uh, I watched the first episode, and I think that's when I went away on holiday to Blackpool, and I came back and I thought, well, I'll watch the rest of this, I'm interested. So Katie Sarkov's character, she's Nico, with her being the, the captain of the crew, she just reminds me of a, basically like a Sarah Connor. She's got that, really that muscle about her, really. You can see the strength in her. And she's the veteran. She's been on plenty of missions. Obviously, other parts of the crew have either worked with her or worked with other people. Uh, but she is the, the head honcho. She's got all the experience. There's plenty of conflict. There's plenty of uh, leadership struggles uh, when things when the ship certainly bumps into trouble. Um, one thing I do like about it is, just like that, see the ship's in trouble, maybe someone's injured, they need someone to pilot something, they go and wake someone else up. So just say, Simon, all right, better get Simon up. We'll need uh, his skills to get us through this, you know, so up, disorientated, gets a wee shake, and away they go sort of thing. Eh? Um, uh, and I thought it was a nice different kind of element to the, the that program. Obviously, a lot of them are just, you've got that standalone, maybe, what, 6, 8, 10 kind of crew. But this introduces people. Maybe they're not just for an episode and they go uh, they go back to sleep again. They maybe bring someone else in or, or other things happen. And I thought that's quite good. They could just keep doing that as, as the seasons kind of uh, move on. And it just gives that extra wee element. But it does kind of take away, obviously, the crew that you've got. Uh, you think maybe, oh, well, we'll get that person to do it. But uh, it keeps, uh, I don't know, it just keeps different faces coming in. Maybe keeps it kind of fresh as well. Um, it's not been getting the best reviews, this. Uh, another life. For me, if I was to say maybe a negative thing about it, start off with that, just get out of the way. Yeah, it's maybe, no, the they've got some really good effects. Some CGI effects really have the ship, definitely, and... A few other wee things with saying, but there is places it does kind of fall down. You're like, oh, that's that could be a lot better, but again, they'll be restricted by money and things like that. They will be on time, like everything. So there is wee bits that does kind of drop the ball, but it still kind of gets that point across what they're trying to say or whatever's meant to be happening. For the characters, yeah, there is a lot of conflict. Going back and forward, people didn't like each other. They hate kind of, well, you're just going to have to. You know, we're stuck on this getting shipped together. And 
you kind of feel a lot has been put to bed, but then it kind of comes back up again. You're like, oh, it can be a wee bit, oh, this again. But no too much, no too much. I've seen other TV series when they've recycled the same old thing. You're like, wait a minute, they're in this last season. These people are not getting on, but they've been getting on, but now they're not getting on again. And they're casting all this up. And it, oh, what? And I mind that. It just, I think it was Arrow. I'm just going to say it was just Arrow. No, I like Arrow, but I think it was like him and uh, it was uh, uh, Oliver and his sister, or his stepsister. And it was just like they were falling out. And oh, for God's sake. I was just like, what? This again? I think there was somebody else that happened on it. I don't know if you were another life's that, that bad, but there is a bit of that back and forward, you know. I suppose that would happen. You're in that tight kind of ship, that space. You're stuck with people. But uh, characters, I like them. They're, they're all different shapes and sizes as well, which is good. Uh, there is one girl. She swears like an absolute trooper, or maybe in some places, swears like a sailor. Just the F-bomb all the time, eh? And, again, she's, again, model-like. When you look at her, it's just like, wow, she opens her mouth and it's just boom, boom, boom. What the heck? Yeah, just to expect that, eh? Uh, that can might that might put people off. I know I've seen things before, and it's just wow, that's just too much swearing. I didn't need that. I, I have a watch things. I've switched things off. I think it was that ten star. You know, I like that Tim Roth. And I mind he was just he started swearing, and they had his kid in the back, and I went, oh, I I just I had to switch off. Just switch it off. But with this, the, even a, a character in a couple of episodes in again acknowledges, do you just swear all the time? Can you not just say something else? And then you start to grow on what that person's like. Now, hey, I could swear quite a lot. I can. I know people that swear all the time. You know, it depends who you're around and environment and all that sort of thing. If you're getting pressure or stress and yada, 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 panicking. Uh, I can see that I could certainly bring that out in people. So I could totally relate to it as well. Um, But yeah, for, for me, the show, I enjoyed it. If, again, I'm just being picky with the, the, the CGI, the effects. Some good ones and some not so good ones. Uh, but yeah, just a lot of bad bad reviews for this, and it's a, a shame. I kind of feel as the episodes went in, everything's all getting established really well. Um, you can see where it's kind of going. Everything's all kind of settled. Um, with them introducing that, right, we could wake up a crew member if we need something or extra people. They're always going to hear near enough like that. Unlimited supply, other people they could like bring in and out. Oh, they had that person in season one. Now there's a they're a few time person in season two. They've got that kind of option there, which I thought was a nice say. Uh, just something a wee bit different. This a wee bit different, eh? But if you like your sci-fi, definitely give it a go. Yeah, there is that mystery element to it. There's a girl with adventure, uh, and yeah, it's got that drama about it as well with the the characters, definitely. But uh, I would get it a go. Get it an episode. Get it two episodes, right? Maybe that first episode, maybe no grab you. Get that second one. See where it all falls in. Uh, oh, there we go. I, I, I just it just popped in my head there. And if, so they've got this holographic guy as well, right? Katie Sarkov's good. The crew's all good. Another standout guy. And he's been in a lot of things I've never seen. See when you you start looking to see what all these what these people have been doing lately. Because like Katie Sarkov for me, for when I was sitting to Mrs. Deacons, she was in Halloween Resurrection. You know, it was like the Big Brother with the cameras. In the Michael Myers house, I remember that was the first thing I saw her in, and then she was in Battlestar Galactica, the remake. So it was good seeing her again. And for this other guy, William, so I can't, the actor's name escapes me, the new it does, but he plays like the hologram, he's like the AI, the ship. And what I really liked about it, I love his mannerism, just love his character, how he is, and he's just pure computer to start with, but he's able to learn, he starts getting emotion, you see that change in him, he's got that smile. Uh, it's just really, it's just really, I just really liked that. Really liked him. I mean, all the characters, you could see that him evolving probably the most. Um, and just the relationships he builds as well. Where you're like, wow. It's just, it's just really good. Really liked him. I could, I could watch, I would watch more of him. I really would. But I would, I'd be the same with all the crew. Eh? But if the show didn't hear him in it, I would be, oh, what? That'd be a, that would be dropping the ball. But as for like a second season with us, I don't know because of these bad reviews. I, I I've seen worse. I've, I'll put it in like that. I've seen a lot worse. Like I said to you, a few ep things I, I watched there. It's like, oh god, it's rolled my eyes. Or I didn't even watch it, and these these seasons and seasons still keep going on like that ten star. I think that got like a second season, but that thing just put me off. 
Um, I would like to see this get another season. I would. Yeah, it's no best of the best, but I stuck it through. And I'm pretty bad for if someone gets cancelled, it's hard for me to actually watch it because I know there's no continuation. So, no one like this has been cancelled and I don't know about it. I've never done my homework on that. But yeah, if they make a second season, I would look forward to it. Obviously, they keep more of the same kind of crew. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a try. Again, first episode, well, again, I want to try and grab you in. Maybe that second one with the one will kind of uh, keep you there like it did with me. And so, but hey, give it a try. Especially if you like your sci-fi. Give it a try. And uh, what could you lose? Only a wee bit of time, I suppose. Eh? Only a wee bit of time. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time. Adios.